Xanadu welcomes its new duplicant. Mac has been printed with a deep love for animals. So he will be working the grill, as soon as the colony gets one. Duplicants have not been genetically modified to contain chlorophyll, yet. Carbon dioxide pooling in the lower parts of the base will need to be converted into oxygen with algae terrariums. Morale is low in Xanadu, which, let's face it, is a dump. Or once the oxygen runs out, a crypt. These irregular caves will be converted into barracks, a latrine, and a mess hall. Airflow tiles will prepare the colony for the free flow of air, if the duplicants are able to construct oxygen diffusers in time. Meal lice do not require water to grow, making them a convenient source of nourishment. Unfortunately, they are unpleasant to eat, and upsetting to look at. And, although technically a grain, are arguably not vegan. Robbie has been researching for alternatives. Fungal spores, from the swamps around Xanadu, will grow into dust caps if planted in a dark, carbon dioxide rich environment. Already, the pit is proving invaluable. Dust caps need to be fertilized with slime, and duplicants will need to take precautions against the dreaded, slime lung. In order to protect the health and well-being of the precious duplicants, this wash basin is the least that can be done. So it is ideal. While sitting on the latrine, Robbie was struck by sudden inspiration, and quickly scribbled the blueprints to an advanced supercomputer onto a square of toilet paper. It will run on electricity and water, and needs to be constructed, immediately.
According to molecular phylogenetic analysis, mushrooms share a common ancestor with animals, far more recently than they do with plants. This fact has convinced Mac that they are critters, and not vegetables, and he looks forward to ranching them. The local population of wild hatches will become a reliable source of yummy eggs when they are tamed. Just like Ace, they will eat almost anything. Unlike Ace, however, they excrete coal, making them useful. Oxygen diffusers use electricity to extract oxygen from algae at a rapid rate. The resulting increase in air pressure will compact the carbon dioxide in the pit. And also, the duplicants will be able to breathe. Thank you for watching the video, and your support of this channel. Goodbye, until the next cycle.